Let's say you want to create a digital product to sell, such as a PDF ebook. The process for creating a digital product is very similar to creating a physical product. Start by selecting Add Product from the Products drop down menu. Depending on the type of digital product you're selling, you'll most likely want to include the format of the file in the product name. For example, ebook, guide to home audio installation, 80 page PDF. This description will ensure your customer is clear on the type of digital product they are purchasing. Keep in mind, this is completely optional. If you keep track of your digital products with a unique product code or SKU number, enter that number here. Otherwise, leave it blank. Next, enter the price for your digital product here and make sure it is active. Finally, you can assign your digital product to a category if you created a category to group digital products together. This isn't a required step and you can always add it to a category at a later time. When you're finished, press the Continue button. Now that your base product has been created, you can continue to set up the digital product options. To learn about all of the product settings and options on this page, view our tutorial on creating a new physical product. For this tutorial, we'll focus just on settings for creating a digital product. Under the Shipping section, ensure that you are not charging shipping for this product. Shipping charges won't apply to this product because it is delivered electronically, online. Next, under the Taxes header, you can select whether or not you would like to charge state or country tax for this digital product. Typically, sales taxes are collected only on the sale of physical products and not on digital products delivered electronically. But check with your local tax advisor to be sure. Now, expand Digital Product Options under the Optional Values header. This is where you will set up your digital download and product licensing. First, enable this as a digital product by checking here. Next, browse for the digital file for this product on your computer. Select it and then press the Upload link. It's important to remember when naming your file to not include any spaces in the file name. Putting spaces in a file name may prevent some customers from being able to properly download your file. Depending on how large the file is, it may take a minute or two to upload. Keep in mind the file size limit is 7 megabytes. After your file has been uploaded, you'll see a few more options under the Digital Products section. If you ever need to remove your file and upload a different version, just click Remove Current File and you can repeat the process. Let's take a look at the custom download instructions below. When your customer's payment has been successfully received, our system will automatically send a follow-up email containing a temporary link to this digital product. Your customer, upon receiving the email, simply clicks this link to download the digital product file. This link expires 24 hours after the order is placed and the email is sent. You can see exactly what your customers will see when purchasing this digital product simply by entering your email address here and pressing the Send Test button. This is a great way to make sure everything is set up the way you want before selling this product. There is a separate tutorial available if you are learning how to create a digital product that requires a license in order to gain access. For this tutorial, we won't enable the digital licensing feature. Next, expand the Navigation section under the Optional Values header. The Destination or Catalog URL determines where your customers go when they press the Continue Shopping button while on your shopping cart and this product is in their order. Typically, this would be the sales-based web page for the digital product you're selling. Now fill in the Thank You URL field. What web page do you want to send customers to after they make a purchase? Typically, you might redirect them somewhere with details about what they just purchased. When you are finished, press the Save Changes button at the bottom. We've taken a look at the minimum requirements for creating a digital product. 
You can always modify your digital product settings later and set up additional product options covered in a number of different tutorials.